Hello everyone and welcome back to our blind let's play in a bond initiative for the PS5. My name is Flawless Bird, this is Toby's Gaming Channel, and today we are going to really start Mizuki's route. I know where Kizuna is. How could this happen? Damn it. Damn it. I was so close to finally forgetting. Oh, Seeing Ryuki like that kind of hurts my soul. I mean, poor guy. What pet do you want in your pond? Uh, I want a merman. Are you serious? That's brave? Oh well. Don't want to go any further. I don't know what else those have to do with anything. Uh, but yeah, we were talking to boss and we're talking to Iva. We just explored this entire room. So let's say hi to Iva first. Because I like Iba. Iba popped out of my left eye socket and is relaxed next to the boss. What's your body made out of? Body? The rubbery part of you. That's not the eyeball. Oh, this? I believe it is made from seaweed extract of some kind. Really? I mean, it looks super soft and squishy. In a predicament, you can eat it. Uh, I don't want to ever think about eating Iba. All the dots. Yeah, yeah, can you never say that again, please? Uh, why are you here? Or why are you there? It gets really tight in your eye socket, you know. I wanted to stretch out a bit so I don't get too used to that economy class. Excuse me, my left eye is first class, unlike Date. <laughs> what are you looking at? Why do you ask? Isn't it obvious what I'm looking at? Hi, Mizuki. Uh, this is how I appear in Iba's vision. Uh, introduce myself. Oh, uh, who's that? Who is this cutie? Her cuteness is gonna make my eyes pop out of their sockets. <laughs> Your eye is already popped out. Good point. No one ever compliments me, so I had to do it myself. Aww. But in all seriousness, I might just be the prettiest girl on the planet. All the dots. <sighs> Why is it I can't seem to find any decent men? You're like 18. Give it time. Because you've rejected every man that's come close to you? Okay, probably that too. Because they're all pushy basic bros. Uh, introduce myself. I'm Mizuki Date, formerly Okiura. I'm a senior at Sekiba High. I'm 18. I run a company and I'm a singer at Abyss. Recently, I've been worried that my lifestyle is making my skin break out and I'm putting on weight. And since I run into so many low-life criminals, it's really been affecting me. You seem tired. Don't push yourself too hard. Close that. That's enough, Iba. You can close it. Just want to make sure. Yeah, a lot of those, uh, what are you looking at? Um, the, uh, the person still shows up as green until you click it again. And then they show up as gray. Boss is sitting on the desk. Oh, uh, wow, a lot of stuff here. Uh, is Ryuki okay? He was carried to the medical office last night. After a day's rest, he gathered himself and headed home. I'm guessing he's drinking again. Should we use GPS? No, it's fine. I won't get anything useful from him right now. Ryuki is currently on leave. After the explosion six years ago, he just needs more time. I'd like to have him help with the investigation, but I don't want to put that pressure on him right now. Uh, I wouldn't either. Uh, how late were you out drinking last night? Wait, how did you know? Peter told me. <sighs> Running his mouth. I'm gonna cut his pay. <laughs> You're getting old. You should stop cruising bars. Ugh, could you not sound like my daughter? Oh, the dots. Daughter? Ah. Uh, you have a daughter? Well, yeah. I had no idea you had an illegitimate daughter. She's not illegitimate. It's not like a secret or anything. It's just no one ever asked. All the dots. Okay, that's enough digging into my private life for the day. You know, something that we haven't really discussed is she has a daughter who's not Mizuki. 
uh, Shoma has a sister who we never heard about. Uh, so there are two females in our story that have been mentioned that we've never actually seen. And there's a masked woman. Could the masked woman be one of those two females? I mean, it's possible, right? Or it could just be an entirely new character altogether. In which case, yeah, we would have no idea who that person is. Uh, about singing without permission. Oh, so you do understand that you did it without my permission. You said you'd let me handle it. And I also said not to do anything dangerous. Ugh. But I did find a lead. Uh, about the corpse. You heard about the DNA results, right? Yeah, Peter told me last night. The DNA extracted from Jin's right half six years ago. The base sequence was an exact match with the left half that was found. A 100% match. They definitely belong to the same person. But how is that possible? I have no idea. What about the masked woman? Masked woman? The shady chick who tried to shoot me with a gun. Oh, her. We're looking into her based on what Iba recorded. But we haven't found anything yet. No witness statements either. Maybe she's with terror. Why would you think that? Well, she looked like a bad guy. And she was firing at me. As a police officer, you should refrain from judging by appearances. She fired at me! Are you kidding? Hey, Mizuki. Aren't you forgetting something? I was just about to ask you about Dahlia Boat, but okay. Huh? Was it? That's exactly what I'm talking about. I'm your superior. You should be more respectful when talking to me. Oh, yeah, my bad. <laughs> sir, yes, sir. Aye, aye, sir. I'll be careful, boss lady. <laughs> I love Mizuki. <sighs> Teenagers. So, what are you going to do now, Mizuki? I think I'm gonna head to the stadium. There might be some leads that only I can find. Sounds good. But, as I said before, don't push yourself too hard. I still want to ask about Dahlia Boat. Yeah, yeah. Respectful. Roger that, Sergeant. Sheesh. Okay, good, we can. About Dahlia Boat. Dahlia Boat, huh? But what does that get us, exactly? I searched every database I have access to. I did not find anything that connects that name with terror. There's gotta be some kind of hidden meaning. Ryuki would know. You can't assume that, Mizuki. I checked the sync log this morning and something is definitely off. We know Ryuki isn't mentally stable right now. Yeah, just a little bit. A person's memory can be wrong at times, especially after trauma or mental disturbance. So we can't assume anything we got from Ryuki is the truth? Boss is correct. There is no guarantee that what is experienced in Somnium is exactly what that person saw. Yeah, but it isn't completely random either. The person being synced had to have experienced something that made their Somnium that way. True, but... Listen, it's just best that you don't put too much stock into what Ryuki says right now. Alright, well it's time to head to the stadium, everyone. Let's do it. Oh, this mystery is getting good. Now we can... Well, it was always good. So getting good is kind of a misnomer, but... <laughs> She's riding a bike. Oh, that's great. But what I mean to say is, now that we know what happened six years ago, uh, it contextualizes what's happening now. So everything we learn, we can try to piece together. Because playing through Yuki's, we knew what happened. We knew that there was some sort of explosion. We didn't know exactly what happened, but we knew that it ended Why with an explosion. Why has been taken away? Of course, the winter cold may help, but the body would still naturally decompose if left unattended. They also needed to perform an autopsy. <sighs> I just wish I could have examined it a little more. Well, does Iba have augmented reality? Why not use my function? What function? This is not your first crime scene. You have done this many times before. Oh, that! Indeed. Iba, please do your thing. At once. Augmented reality? I'm assuming so.
Yes. I am replaying the scene from when the body was found. I have scanned from edge to edge for this recreation. I really can't get used to this. It's like going back in time. I know, it's really, really cool. But I thought I remembered officers being around. Oh, right. This would be your first time seeing the scene this way. When creating a VR space for an investigation, irrelevant information is not replicated. Got it. Now, let us begin. The point I am most curious about is how the body was carried over there. As I previously stated, no footprints were found at the scene. Let us focus our investigation on that fact first. Okay, so let's let's think logically here. Which is probably not a good idea. Logically, the last body was found because it was dropped from the ceiling. But if you look up, the ceiling is a sky. This is an open stadium. So there's no way the body could have been dropped in the same way that was dropped before. Unless it was helicoptered in or planed in or something like that. So there has to be a there has to be an explanation how the body got here apart from how the body got there six years ago. Every time I see this, it hits me that this is really Jin Furue. It's crazy that the other half of his body was found six years later. The cause of death was the body becoming severed in two. He was cut at a molecular level, identical to the right half that was found six years ago. The culprit is most likely terror. And no other damage to the body besides being cut in half, right? None. Nothing like falling from a great height? Impossible. If that had happened, there would be signs of impact damage to the body. The only ones on the body are the cut itself. I got an idea. Could someone else have gotten plastic surgery to look like him? I suggest using the x-ray mode to find out. I thought they ran a DNA test. And did they say it's exactly the same? If there was any surgery, you would see chiseled bone or silicone. There would be internal evidence left behind. Uh, use the x-ray mode to see if there's any plastic surgery done. His bone structure is standard. Nothing has been done to his face, nor his body. So you're saying there is no evidence of plastic surgery? It's Jin for sure. Jin Fury's face and body show no sign of plastic surgery. What's interesting is there's no bomb inside the body. You know what I mean? like a weird spot here it's the halfway line for soccer yeah but when you go into thermo humid area the temperature is a little lower here it's like something spilled looks like a blood splatter this is related to specific heat capacity what's that basically it is how easily something heats up or cools down Something that heats up and cools down easily has a low specific heat capacity. So I have a low specific heat capacity. You have the opposite. Call the dog. Anyway, as you can see, the melted snow has caused water to begin to pool. However, whatever liquid spilled here has a lower specific heat capacity than water. So you perceive it as being colder. Any idea on what it could be? Analysis complete. It is an oil used for lubricating machines. Oil. Machine oil, huh? Oil. Hmm. I I have no idea. Like, not even a guess at what that could be. The melted soil is about the grass, but there are no footprints. A uh, soccer goal. No, I didn't think about just looking around. No, I don't see anything. All right, let's check out over here. A lap time display. It's a display board showing lap times. This is where we hit when uh, we were being shot at.
Nothing special there. This is the other goal. Again. Oh, it looks like we can use X-ray vision for a few things over here. What's this? Hey, look at the halfway line. It's hard to tell because of the white chalk, but... Is it a... Is it a rope of some kind? I see slight grooves in the ground with the X-ray mode. Is this... A tire tread? A bike, maybe? If that were the case, we would see evidence of two overlapping tire treads. Not unless they exactly went down the same line. But there is only the one. So, something with one wheel. This tire track... It looks familiar. It's a tire track on the halfway line. A unicycle? It, it stops... ...where the corpse is. And there was machine oil. So someone came onto here with a unicycle-like vehicle. Stop, stopped, dropped the corpse, left behind a tiny bit of evidence with um, machine oil, and then rode back in the exact same way. Hmm? There's something in the grass. It appears to be a screw. The grass was so long you couldn't see it with the naked eye. There's a screw on the halfway line. I, I... Even if we know how the body got here, there's still a question of how was the body, the time of death, estimated... The investigation. What, like six hours ago instead of six years ago? Using the evidence we found, we can replay Terror's actions. How did Terror move the body to where it was found? That's what we need to figure out. Let us begin. How is the body carried without leaving footprints? We should consider how exactly it was carried. How the corpse ended up where it did. Yes. Aw, oh, we're not getting any film production like Tama and Ryuki. I kind of added a little bit of uh, personality to this scene, I will admit. Now, I don't mind Mizuki and Aiba. I love Mizuki and Aiba, as you guys know. But I, I, I just like that extra quirkiness. I I'm kind of a quirky guy, so. Uh, let's see. Uh, it was... Uh, it was dropped from above, but not above the, the, the dome, but it was dropped from someone carrying it over the soccer field. Yeah, it was over the soccer field. So let's try to pick all the other options first. And if it's dropped from above, we'll get to that second to last. So we'll go to teleportation then around. Are you being serious? Oh, I got Aiba! She's floating on a little helicopter. Oh, that's adorable. Didn't you say something like that yesterday? That was just an AI joke. <laughs> a what? An avian influenza joke. Oh, Lord. I love... I... Iva, you're so adorable. Now I'm even more confused. Uh, thrown from the seats. If it was thrown, the body would have hit the ground hard. The only ones on the body are from the no cut sign of impact damage. There is only one way the body could have ended up there without sustaining any additional damage. Drop from above. Hold on. That would cause a ton of damage to the body. Yep. But the yep. body shows no wounds other than the vertical slice. Therefore... It was carried over the sack field. Exactly what we thought. There was no additional damage to the body. If it was dropped from above or thrown from somewhere, that wouldn't be the case. Correct. Now consider the lack of footprints. There were no footprints. But we did find other prints, right? What specifically? Uh, tire tracks. It looks like we just had to click on this one. I can't go into vision move. Move. Mood, by the way. Clueless. Have I ever... I don't think I've ever looked at this in I2. I remember in I1, I use this all the time. But in I2, I never have. And the reason is because you kind of don't need to look at it. I mean, it's good to have the clues there so you can uh, determine 
uh, the truce. It just seemed like in I1, this was a lot more important. I haven't felt like I've needed this this game. Or at least not yet. Right here, on the halfway line. Be because the clues... The tire track? I mean, because the clues constantly pop up, so you're like, okay, well, that's that clue, that's that clue, that's that clue. But there was that really good interrogation that Tate did where he had to match the clues up. Uh, I remember that one. That was really well done. Something with one wheel was used to carry the body. Something with just one wheel made this track. What was it? A uh, bike, a robot? A unis, a robot? Shoma's robot has one wheel, doesn't it? No, no, it can't be that. It, it can't be. It could be. We'll, we'll do the loopy thing again. Start with bike. It's a bike. I said it can't be a bike. And you said it yourself. It only has one wheel. So, it's a one-wheeled bike. <laughs> I suppose that is not impossible. No, but the definition of bicycle is two. Nah, I don't think it's a bike. Then don't suggest <laughs> it. <laughs> it's a spinny ring thing. What? You know what I'm talking about? Those two hoop things they use in circus shows? Do you mean wheel gymnastics? Yeah, that. No, impossible. <laughs> Look at that smile. How would you carry a body like that? Not to mention they technically have two wheels. Uh, unicycle. Terror got on a unicycle and carried the body to the center circle. What? Did he run away and join the circus? Is he an acrobat? Even if we go with your unicycle theory. There's a screw. How oh wait, what was that? Sorry. And the machine oil. How do you account for the screw? And the machine oil. Maybe Terror himself is a robot. That would be ridiculously high tech. Though, I suppose I'm ridiculously high tech. Yeah, yeah. Nah, I don't think it's a unicycle. Mizuki. <laughs> yeah, show much robot. Remember has one wheel? I think it was a robot. The screw we found in the grass. I really hope it's not Choma. And the machine oil? You have to think they're connected. Perhaps a one-wheeled robot. But we cannot conclude that it was a robot based on this evidence alone. I guess not. But... Those tire marks looked familiar. Why do they look familiar? Let us imagine it was a mono-wheel robot, and it carried the body along the halfway line. Yeah. Let us begin recording. Huh? Recording? Okay, Miss Star in the making. <laughs> yes, we're gonna get it! It wasn't the full entire time, but we're still gonna get a scene like this. I am the director slash cameraman, Aiba Kurosawa. Yes! Kurosawa? You don't know Kurosawa? All right, that guy. That guy, uh-huh. I am going to start rolling soon, so please show me your best acting. Uh, hold on. I don't even know what this is. No talking back to your director. You're an actress. I'm a police officer. <laughs> that is basically the same thing. For both jobs, you need to show some skin. Neither job requires showing skin. <laughs> Enough worrying about the little details. You simply need to play the part of terror. Why? Let us begin. Ready? Action! My name is Terror. Twas I who cut Jin in half. Twas I. Oh, that, that is... Now I shall carry this corpse to the center of the pitch. Oh, this is some superb acting. So, how are you going to accomplish that? Using this! Yeah, that is the same robot. I'll use this robot remotely and... Uh... This is hard. <laughs> so 
crew pops off. Some oil gets splattered. Things look dicey there, but I got it back. <sighs> I did it. Cut! Wonderful. Great acting. Huzzah! Good job, Mizuki. I Izuku. especially liked the performance of your eyes. Yeah, me too. That was great. You have the eyes of someone who has actually killed a man before. Ah, uh, that's not so great. Can you not say that, please? Anyway, this robot. Yeah, I know. I don't like where this is going. Aiba, you were thinking the same thing, huh? Yes, I saw it before as well. Shoma's one-wheeled robot. Do you recall the grooves on that tire? But it just can't be. Shoma can't be terror. Despite the circumstances, the possibility is not zero. No way. I mean, he was 12 at the time. And he's nowhere near big enough to be Terror's size. The best thing to do is confirm with him directly. Where is Shoma? Unknown. Really? I cannot locate his GPS signal. His smartphone is either off or somewhere with no reception. <laughs> That's always gotta happen. So sending a Nile message is pointless too. Guess we have no choice but to look for him. Where could Shoma be? Naturally, we should head to the Enda residence. There is also a high likelihood of him being at Brahmin or Matsushita Diner. I think I've seen him testing his robot at Yoyagi Park, too. While not directly related to Shoma, there are records of Jin Furoe being hospitalized at Central Hospital. Maybe we can ask about Jin, too. We should also head to Sekiba High. Well, it looks like we have a list of places to go. That's where the second body in the HB case was found. Where should we go first? Oh, wow, we got a lot of places to go. Uh, what's your favorite torture tool? Uh, I think we've had this one before. It, it looks like unless we guess Impish, um, Loving is going to be... Well, even if we guess Impish, Loving is still going to be tied for a second. So, uh, let's go with the Bull of Polaris. Hey, we got Impish. You know, like, listen to the cries of people on fire? <laughs> That's tasteless. Oh. No, we have not done a asking questions, E. Curious about anyone else's answer. So we went off. Alright, what are we going for this one? I have no idea. Like, I don't know what we haven't done yet. Uh, what do you think of AI? Um, uh, useful. Oh, we're loving. Darn it. Always loving. What did it say? It said in the uh, pictures? But where is that? It's not in files. I should probably go back and relook over what it said because I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure where, um, how to check is what I'm trying to say now before we leave let's look around really really fast to see if there's any cool dialogue oh there was something there I just swore there was something there there it is Modder. and then the lights all right Oh wow, six places. So where are we going first? Uh, I guess top to bottom always seems to work fast. So we'll go to Yoyogi Park. As we start our real investigation here. I love our bike, by the way. Like each character had a different way sort of travel, you know? Yeah, Ryuki and his very expensive limousine. You have 
Mizuki and her. Looks like Shoma isn't here. Scooter. Like, dang. What exactly do you call those things? Are they scooters? I mean, they're a little bit bigger than scooters and they can travel further. Right. Uh huh? Isn't that. It's the end. Kizuna and Leon. Oh, Kizuna! Oh, it's good. It, it'll be interesting to see what happened with these two. I forget the time capsule. They might know where Shoma is. Let's go! But since Mizuki is the leader of a company, you'd think she could drive something more expensive than a scooter. But you know, that's probably just her personality. She may want to drive that. Hi, oh, you no. Two. Kizuna did not make it out all okay. Big sis. Oh, hey, Mizuki. Aww. Kind of sad about that, but she is alive. And it looks like, you know, uh, Leanne still cares for her, which is awesome. But she can't dance anymore, can she? The things she'd love to do the most, she can no longer do. It's really sad. But she has her health, and she has friends, and she has people who care about her. So hopefully everyone was able to get her through the tough times. It still sucks though. That machine shed isn't used anymore. It used to regulate the fountain pump. Machine shed not used anymore. Guide posts. All right. Can't look at the uh, things she's riding. Kizzy is an electric wheelchair. I get the feeling she's trying not to make eye contact. I, I hate to ask this question first, but I am curious about the wheelchair. All the dots. Huh? What is it, Pixis? Well, uh, oh, the wheelchair? You do not have to worry. I am used to it by now. All the dots. As you know, the injury I received to my spine six years ago caused my legs to stop working. I have been in a wheelchair ever since. I will not be able to dance anymore, like I used to. Dancing was the one thing that freed my heart. No more. No. But it would be inappropriate of me to complain. I was caught in an explosion, and yet I survived. It is a miracle that I am still alive. To not appreciate that fact would be a sin. Kizzy. All the dots. About six years ago. Six years ago? Big sis. Yep. I lost my left eye in the explosion. But I don't even worry about it anymore. I got a good partner. Indeed. Indeed. Exactly. Oh, is that a false eye? Yeah, something like that. If anything, things have been even more lively for me. You're damn right. <laughs> oh, quiet. Aww. Aww. Lively, I see. Hmm. Uh, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing in particular. I am just not feeling well today. And Lian was nice enough to invite me outside to get some fresh air. I thought Kizzy was feeling a little down. So I called her, and sure enough, I told her, let's go to your favorite place. You really understand her well, don't you? Are you spying on her with a wiretap or something? No, don't be ridiculous. It's true that maybe I've stolen some things in the past, but I've never stolen someone's privacy. Do you know where Shoma is? I'm sorry, I don't know. Damn. Uh, about the fountain. Hmm? Oh, I... I was just remembering about Big Sis. Not referring to you, of course, but... Oh, the one you lived with from 9 to 15, right? Yes. I used to come here with her often. I think it was summer, when I was 10 years old. I accidentally got my clothes dirty. It was my father's favorite imported outfit. I was scared that I was going to get scolded harshly by my father. I tried so hard to come up with a lie. Who could I blame? And as I was thinking, she pushed me into the fountain. She what? I was shocked, but then she jumped in after me. Let's do some laundry, she said. Oh, like washing your clothes by playing in the water. Yes, but she had another reason. As we splashed water on each other, I remember her saying, 
When you're feeling down, you should clean your heart. Aww. All the dog. It was not only my clothes that needed cleaning, but also my heart. I was trying to find an excuse or come up with a lie that would have been caught right away. But she, well, instead of coming up with a lie, she turned it into the truth. She even went beyond that and made it into something fun. It is not good to worry about things, to come up with lies. That was what she was trying to say, I am sure. We went home together, soaking wet and laughing. Father laughed with us. Aww. I was just lost in that memory. It's the end. I first met him six years ago. He hasn't changed much. Still holding a drink. Uh, what are you doing here? You can't tell? I'm asking because I can't tell. A young girl and a guy walking in a park together. Multi-level marketing scheme? <laughs> it's a date! Oh, this was a date? All the dots. Uh, well, I guess it's not that formal. We just came here for a change of pace, for Kizzy. This is our favorite spot, you know? <laughs> We've been on a ton of dates here. It's practically our second home. Just a nice, relaxing spot for both of us. Y yeah, sure. She doesn't sound too convinced. Do you still love Kizzy? Of course. My feelings haven't changed a bit. If anything, they've gotten stronger. When I'm with Kizzy, my heart soars. It soars so high, I feel like I can burst through the stratosphere and beyond the galaxy. Aww. It's my dream to fly. I remember telling you. So it's like my dream comes true whenever I see Kizzy. Wow. To be honest, you don't seem like the kind of guy who's into commitment. I am. And as more proof, I'm working as a locksmith. That's actually a pretty good job for you. Kizzy said she doesn't like an unemployed man after all. I want to make enough money to be able to support her. All the dot. About six years ago. Sorry, I don't want to talk about it. Hmm. Do you know where Shoma is? No, I haven't seen him. What happened? It's nothing. You don't need to worry about it. I was trivia. I need to head home soon. Leanne and Shoma became friends after the incident six years ago. Mizuka was the one who put them together. Shoma lost his father six years ago. Mizuka thought it would be a good idea to introduce Leanne to Shoma to cheer him up. Nowadays, they're almost like brothers, so it's hard to tell who the older one and who the younger one is. <laughs> so like Kazuna and Mizuki with the big sis? Huh? Already? We just got here. Although that's a little bit different. She calls her big sis because she reminds her of her big sis. Whereas Leanne is probably more immature than Shoma, who's probably more mature. I remembered that I have to do something. All the dots. Kizzy, what's wrong? W why do you ask? It seems like you're worked up about something. I believe you are mistaken. Oh. Wait, is it my fault? What? Do you not like being with me? Do you not like being seen with me? Well... Is that not how you feel about me? What? What do you oh, mean? Oh, that, that's, that's, that is, oh, that's, oh, that's gut-wrenching. It, it's not that she doesn't feel good about Leanne being there. She doesn't feel worthy now of being with Leanne because she feels Wow, that, that wheelchair is... Oh, that sucks for her to feel this way, even after six years. I am sure you know what I mean. No, I don't. What are you saying? All the dots. Mizuki, you were right. Kizuna is acting strange. Why not wink sync with her? Oh, okay. No, Lian, you are only with me because you feel guilty. Your supposed feelings for me are just a farce. In truth, 
feel nothing but guilt inside. Guilt for what happened six years ago. Oh, man. Needless to say, you did nothing wrong, Liam. But that is not how you see it. You believe it is your fault for how I ended up. That is why you stayed by my side. I am just a burden. Please, just leave me. I do not want to be the reason you ruined your life. Kizzy. But his feelings aren't that. He loved you before the accident. He's always loved you. Kind of way to say when I say always loved you. He literally met her like two days before it happened, but you know what I mean. She is assuming Leon's feelings come from a place of pity. All the dots. I was slightly wrong though. I thought that I thought that she was uncomfortable being seen with him because she's in a wheelchair, but actually it's it, it's more deeper than that. It's Oh. What is it? Can I wink sink into Lian too? Consecutively? The battery usage is quite high. I could use a recharge. I have low power. Come on, you can spare it. Don't treat me like your allowance. <laughs> can you please? I want to know Lian's true feelings. Hmm. I suppose. I will make an exception and use the emergency backup battery. Oh, two wing six at once. I'm sorry. Kizzy, I couldn't save you. I couldn't protect you. And because of that, you're... All the dots. But that doesn't change how I feel about you. I love you. From the bottom of my heart. I don't care about appearances. I don't care what happens. You and I forever. Forever. Eternally. Aww. All the dots. They really do care about each other. We need to tell them about how the other really feels. How? Hey, I just read both your minds. And guess what? <laughs> the way she says that. It is true, though. You can't really say things like that. Is that what you want to say? All the dots. Not to mention, it is tactless to wedge yourself into other people's romances. This needs to be solved between them. Iva, how old are you now? I am turning 12 this year. So that's like 65 in human years. Really? I'm not a dog. <laughs> anyway, I need to be going. Leon, thank you for today. But please, you do not need to care about me anymore. But... Is he? Oh, such a tragic romance. There she goes. Unfortunate, but we are not relationship therapists. We have another job to do. And in a way, it is the wheelchair. Because if she wasn't bound by the wheelchair, she wouldn't think that he's only there for pity. So, I guess I was kind of right? Find Shoma. It's Leanne. I first met him six years ago. It hasn't changed much. Can we see her rolling away or something? Oh. Alright, uh, end of residence? Oh. I was so looking forward to seeing what Kizuna and Leanne were up to six years later, and now. Now it's not so much. Looks like Shoma isn't here. Hey, Mizuki. What are you doing in the Kotatsu? <laughs> Kotatsus are perfect on a cold day. They make you really sleepy. Oh. You don't realize this is breaking and entering. That's fine. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it when the protagonists are on the same page. When I was here before, Shoma said I could just come in any time. I believe that kind of sentimentality has worn off in the modern age. All the dots. Aww. Anyway, let us search. Yeah, let's look for oranges. No, the one-wheeled robot. We need to check if it was Shoma's robot that carried the corpse. By the way, somebody just uh, thought about, um, we're looking for the one-wheeled robot. And uh, if you've ever seen the Fugitive movie, he's looking for the one-armed man. So... It's kind of silver, I guess? Squeaky toy hammer. Ah, uh, green out the window. 
Ah, there's a broom here. It's Adder Rooster! He's the manager at the fried chicken shop that Adder works at. That is a peculiar situation. <laughs> we all know that she loves Adder Rabbit. No oranges or robots in the fridge. <laughs> no robots in the fridge. <laughs> hey, my name is Penny Ben. Nice to meet you. This thing talks? Strange name, too. Yeah. Are you sure you're not Pennywise? A dresser. Could it be hidden in here? We know it's not gonna be hidden, dresser. It wouldn't fit. That's why I had no problem doing that. I finally found it! That must be the one-wheeled robot we were looking for! It's got two legs. It has two legs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but in in this reality, Komenshi is dead, isn't he? Because it was in the other route that he survived. Oh, so that means Shoma has no... Yeah. And, and we just learned that too. Oh, it's a picture of Lizzie. <laughs> I, I, I mean, they told us straight up that Leanne and Shoma were, you know, like brothers now. But it just hit me five minutes or so later. Yeah, that sucks. You. This place hasn't changed at all. There's a picture of Ame no Uzume on display. It's said that she danced with her bare breasts swinging about to entrance Amaterasu. Aiba, you should try it. Why would I do that? <laughs> mm. No, I guess you don't have a whole lot to swing. Oh, burn. You don't either. It's okay. You, you, you are beautiful just the way you are, Aiba and Mizuki. You don't need anything. You, you don't need to let other people's definitions of beauty define you. A shove a toolbox. No oranges in here. <laughs> TV remote. It's a katatsu. I'll x-ray in a second. The book on my box. Engineering. Machine part. All right. Question time. Yes, we got the sound effects. lion is tied up on a 10-foot chain. What is the area of grass the lion would eat? Let me think. Approximately 314 square feet. The correct answer is zero square feet. Lions don't eat grass. Uh -huh. But Leanne eats grass sometimes. What kind of little kid logic is that? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Herb, don't look. Who are you talking to? You're the one who peeped. <laughs> All the dots. <laughs> Oh, uh, it's a closet. There's no one-wheeled robot in here. Oh. It was in here before. Hmm. So I guess nothing to be found here. We couldn't find the robot anywhere. And no other leads. Yeah, no oranges either. <laughs> Who cares about the oranges? I don't mind oranges. Although I like cantaloupes best. Cantaloupes are my favorite. In any case, we have no time to waste. Let's head elsewhere. But it's so cold outside. You're the one who picked that outfit. <sighs> Let's get going. Any day now. <laughs> oh, we got the little guy chirping at us too. Uh, which one do you want? Uh, nothing needs to be done. Ah, want to defeat it with calf kicking? More crazy now. Like I said, you're perfect just the way you are, my friends. Don't. You can always improve. On things you want to improve on but that doesn't mean that for some reason you're flawed in any way it, it's it's our uniqueness that make us truly special and you could always endeavor to be better but never lose sight over the fact that you are exactly who you are and you should love yourself for who you are Farm and wolf cuisine oh Mame? Mame's here! And again? They don't look too different. Mizuki, what are you doing here? Have you seen Shoma? No, I haven't seen him here. What about you, Ginny? I haven't seen him recently. I see. All the dots. All the questionable dots? 
Uh, Gan knows about Shoma. Before the incident six years ago, Shoma frequented this place. His father must have brought him here. And you're not really expecting to see a lot of differences between the adult characters. Although, Kazuna did seem to have a different hairdo. Um... A am I mistaken on hey, that? Hey, Aiba, can you do that thing? Or did you guys see that too? Her hair looked a little different. <sighs> Fine. But just once, okay? Oh, what's she gonna do? Mm-hmm. Hello. I'm Drum Aiman. Oh, 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 the dots. I see. What's with that weak reaction? I, I want to see her geek out over an insect. Mizuki, look, it's a Hispella Testacea. Yes! Oh, happy days. I miss that so much. Yay! Go, little Hispella Testacea. Oh, I miss that so much. Oh, that was like my favorite thing in I won is clicking on a plant and having her just go all adorable mode talking about insects. Be probably because I hate insects, so it's weird because, you know, for me, I, I, I can't stand them. I was playing a uh, Shadow Hearts Covenant and uh, went into a late game dungeon called the Dollhouse and there were these roaches that you fought and I hate roaches, they're like the, the, the worst thing in the world for me, I, I, I just absolutely hate them. And they had this special attack that literally made me turn away from the screen because I couldn't watch it. It, it, it disturbed me that much. <laughs> Reminded me a lot of I Silent Hill 2. Say, there's an elephant in the room. Oh, come on. Wow, that was remarkably unfunny. Uh, I'll never, like, that's probably the one moment I'll never forget from Silent Hill is the room with all the bugs in it. I, I, I just, uh-uh. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. So I fixed stock pot, crock pot, cook pot, something pot. It's a glass with oolong tea in it. I think we've examined every. I feel like we have. All right, let's talk to Amame. It's a mom. It's mommy. She seems kind of upset. Are uh, you okay? I'm not feeling well, but I'm just tired. Don't worry. You're the second person to take to tell me they're not feeling well. You should go home and rest. That's what I said. Thank you for your concern, but I'd rather rest here. I don't want to be alone. Is something bothering you? Yeah, a little bit. Have you heard about the disappearances that have been happening lately? All the questionable thoughts? I know it's just a rumor, but people going missing after watching a ViewCube video. It's the same as the urban legend from six years ago. But it's different this time. I think it's actually happening. I was able to find the video. Do you want to watch it? Uh, not really, but... Mm. Not right now. Now's not the time. I'm getting a feeling that this is connected to something bigger. Something bigger? Like what? All the dot. Nirvana Initiative. What? It's just something I saw online. Some kind of terrorist attack or something being planned. What do you think, Iba? There are rumors to that effect, but nothing concrete. I do not have enough data to make a determination yet. Anyway, that's what's got me scared. It's kind of creepy. Uh, why are you here? Well, because... Uh, I guess I didn't need to ask. You come here a lot, Mame. Yeah, it's calming being here. I would have preferred you said you liked the food. <laughs> of course I like the food, too. But I like the atmosphere. And how you fit right in, Genny. It's really calming. It's my favorite place. Aww. Come to think of it, you come here to quiz me an awful lot. And sometimes you leave without even eating anything. Well, you're the only one that likes my quizzes, Genny. When I ask Mizuki, she gets this look on her face. <laughs> Why do you not like quizzes? Mame's questions are really niche. Do they bother you, Genny? As long as it doesn't get in the way of work, I don't mind. It's nice seeing you two together. You're almost like father and daughter. Oh, the dog. <laughs> I guess Amame is like my daughter. Maybe Mama has a father complex. <laughs> All the dots. That's kind of rude to ask or say. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that 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 was that was that was a little low. Oh no, it just reminded me of my dad. Right. Your parents. 
They divorced when I was little, so I've been separated from my dad. I'm sorry, Mommy. I really liked him, so I was really sad. You really like your dad, huh? Yeah, he's the best. Aww. Ah, that's good to see. You know where Shoba is? Hmm. No. Why do you ask? I wanted to ask him something. Did something happen? I saw in the news that a corpse was found at the stadium. Something related to that? Actually, yeah. How are you doing, Gan? He's in the kitchen preparing food. Uh, I'll come eat here soon. Yeah, please do. You haven't been in a while. Sorry, I've been busy with work. Mame has been inviting me, but actually, you were the one who introduced me to this place, right, Mame? Yeah. Was it six years ago? I remember when I ate Genny's food for the first time, I was shocked by how good it was. It was the first time I felt that way since eating Ota's food. <laughs> Nerd. A set. <laughs> Mizuki, don't talk about Ota here. Why not? He's a rival. Uh, where were you last night? Last night? I was here last night. The only person I saw was a drunk, passed out Ryuki. What were you doing leaving your place unattended? I think... That was when I went to the convenience store to get some miso. I have tons of regulars. Sometimes I have them watch the place for me. I see. I don't think Ryuki is the best person to watch a place when he's passed out drunk. Ryuki was saying something about traveling to the mirror world, so I thought something happened. Sounds like something a drunkard would say to me. The customer next to Ryuki was saying some weird things too. When that king over there awakens, I'm going to disappear like a candle. What? I'm not real, I'm just something that shows up in the king's dream. What? That sounds like a reference to Through the Looking Glass and What Alice Found There by Lewis Carroll. Thanks, Iba. The story deals with themes of not being able to tell reality from illusion. Mirror worlds and the like. And we've dealt with that in this game a few times. The customer ran off spouting that gibberish. I had to run after him to get him to pay for the food. I thought you said you trusted your customers. That guy wasn't a regular. When I grabbed him and got back, Yuki was gone. Huh. I thought you said you went to go buy miso. Oh, that's right. I guess I went to the convenience store before that. That's strange. I guess yesterday was pretty hectic, huh? Yeah, it might have been. Yeah. Hmm. That is strange, though. That he doesn't seem to recall exactly. Uh, you know what Shoma is? Sorry, I haven't the slightest idea. He hasn't been here, and I haven't talked to him at all. How is he related to the incident at the stadium? It's confidential, I can't tell you that. I don't think we can wink sync either of them, either. All the doubts. I'm heading home now. Mame, you really don't look too good. Want me to take you to the hospital? It's okay, I just need some rest. Mame, you can rest in the back if you want. Yeah. I might do just that. Mame, are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Guess we'll take her word for it. Mizuki, we're in the middle of an investigation. We should leave this to Gen. Okay. Genny, please take care of Mame. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, we can't wink sync either one of them. Alright, next up, Matoshi to Diner, but we're gonna probably have to stop here, but I can't save the game while the map screen is unlocked, because we've had that problem before, and it may have been patched out, I don't know, it may have just been a, a weird Shoma? thing that I happened. Seen him. Wow, Iris has changed her hair a lot, so has Ota. Well, what about you, Ota? No, I haven't seen him either. Shoma always comes in alone, and he usually leaves without saying anything. I see. Do you think Shoma saw that video too? If he did, it wouldn't be good. Video? She seems to be the most changed out of all of them, really. Uh, oh, besides music, I mean, most changed out of the adults is what I meant. Um, obviously the kids, you know, who are 12, obviously have changed a lot. Uh, Ota knows Shoma too. Iris introduced them to each other. But yeah, so we're gonna have to stop here, my friends. Thank you for everything. I love you all so very much. And until next time, so long and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you would like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more. Also, please do not forget, you matter. You are brilliant and you are loved. And you should always remember to be true to yourself. Don't let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly feathered flightless bird. Till next time.